Woo! WrestleMania, I can live it, daddy! It's the Fandango Remix. What's going on, guys? Mullet is really intact today. We've got the very first SmackDown recap, guys. Went ahead and started, decided I wanted to do that. So we're going to do the SmackDown results and recap for last night, September 20th. Um, just watched the replay of it on YouTube, so... Let's just get right into it, guys. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to everybody for your support. Expect nothing but big, big things from the channel in the, in the upcoming future. Murder. Woo. Be sure to subscribe to the Visual Maniacs, my dual channel with the visual expression. Big shout out to Justin Watches Movies. He was the winner of the contest um, in the $50 Amazon car, so... Be sure to subscribe to Justin Watches Movies. His channel will be beneath, or beneath, in the description. Um, got a huge Blu-ray collection, guys. Really, really good YouTuber. So if you're into Blu-rays, he's not in, he's not a wrestling um, YouTuber or anything, but he's got a great Blu-ray collection. So shout out to you, brother. Um, and, it, and, of course, be sure to subscribe to Sean Blackford's channel as we just posted episode two of YWC Mania, the podcast. And be sure to um, comment below um, or tweet me if you want to get a get on the uh, YWC Mania podcast. So let's get into it, guys. Actually, a really really good episode of SmackDown. I'm kind of gotten gotten back into watching SmackDown again. They seem like they're putting a little bit more effort into it. Um, the show started out with Vicky Guerrero in the ring. Um, you know, and of course she's jumped on the I Hate Daniel Bryan bandwagon as well, which makes sense. She's basically talking about how he is a joke and he's only held the title so long, this, that, and the other. And she talks about the eleven, the ten superstars that ran into the ring on Monday Night Raw to defend Debra, and basically is set up a match to where it was an eleven on three handicap gauntlet match, basically where. The Shield will be in the ring at all times, and each one of those 11 people, including Brian, would go in one at a time and face the Shield. Um, and then Daniel Bryan comes out, you know, in, in between that and, and kind of goes back and forth with Vicky. But um, cool little segment to start out. Then you had AJ Lee versus Naomi. Um, and... They did a short little promo of AJ Lee before the match started, and she was talking about how she's going to run through all of the total divas. So I'm assuming that's what they're going to do with her on SmackDown and Raw to build up to the Natalia feud. Um, the AJ and Naomi match wasn't that long of a match, you know, and of course AJ won it via the um, the Black Widow. So um, AJ's just you know proven she's still the best diva in my eyes. Next up, you had. You had the real Americans in the ring with um, with Zeb, and he's cutting the promo. Uh, Swagger was facing Santino, so he's just going off on Santino, saying he's in the, he's illegal and get the ravioli out of your ears, Italian schmout, you know all that stuff. But the the funny part about this was that Cesaro's in the ring, and they've got these like new he's got like a cape on. I don't know, it was just really random. But Santino comes out, and the match isn't a long match at all, and Santino has already beat Cesaro. He now beats, he uh, upsets Swagger with the uh, backslide. So that was, it's always funny to watch Santino. Next up, you had Ryback coming down in the ring, pushing Heyman in the wheelchair, and you had Axel with him. And Ryback was scheduled to fight. So I'm thinking, okay, who are they going to have Ryback fight this week? And there's a guy in the ring, and his name is Nick Nardone. Just total random jobber. I don't know if he's in NXT or what. I don't watch NXT. But, and then Ryback's whole, you know, Heyman was doing his whole, I'm the best in the world, thanks to Ryback, whoop de woo And then Ryback's whole campaign now is, I hate bullies. Which is, you know, just stupid because he's the whole bully kind of thing. And he makes quick work of this guy. He shell-shocked him and beat him in like two minutes. God, I love murder. So that was that. Then, um, after that, you had Randy Orton come down to the ring and basically cut a promo basically talking about 
Um, it was his own fault that he lost to Brian despite the cheap cheap count because he was suppressing the, the way he usually used to be, which was the ruthless Orton, you know, back in the 09, 2010 age. And he basically was saying he's bringing that back. Um, so that's always good to see because that's the best Orton. Um, then after that, you had the Shield in the ring and they were starting the gauntlet match. So when that started, the first one was Darren Young. He came into the ring and very quickly was was taking taken out and he got speared. They pinned him. So that was one down. And then right after that you had Titus O'Neill who came in. And he got a few a few cheap shots well not cheap shots, but a few shots in on the shield and you know, there was just too much for him as well. They they triple power bombed him, pinned him. Next was uh, was Dolph. Dolph Ziggler came in, and um, you know he he was holding his own like he normally does. He you know he was able to get get some some shots in on him as well, and um, was outside of the ring and got speared by Roman Reigns, a ridiculous spear, um, and got counted out. So he was done. Then um, Kofi came in and actually hit the tr uh, Trouble in Paradise on, I want to say Reigns, and almost got the three count. Of course he didn't. And I don't know the name of, they ended up getting Kofi as well. I, I can't remember the name of Ambrose's finisher, but it's that finisher, that driver type move he's got. So they, they pinned Kofi that way. Well, next up was RVD. RVD comes in the ring and is, is wearing him down as well. He gets on the ropes and is fixing to hit his five-star splash and Triple H's music hits. And he comes down to the ring and he's super pissed at Vicky. He stops the match, you know, and it cuts to break. He stops the match and tells Vicky to come back to his office kind of thing. And then you come back from break and it's him yelling at Vicky saying that that's the last thing you should have done because you're going to have a full-on mutiny. The best thing you need to do is make, make things fair. That's what's best for business. So he orders her to make a six-man ta uh, tag match for the main event um, with the Shield versus the Usos and Debra, which she does. So that lets you know that's the main event for the evening. Then, um, then it gives you the whole recap from the Dusty Rhodes situation from Monday Night Raw, which you already know about that, the stupid Big Show angle. Um, then it shows Triple H in his office and Zack Ryder and Justin Gabriel, who were the other two guys, were two other guys that, that ran in on Monday night, was wanting to know what they were going to have, what kind of match they were going to have. So Triple H says, go on down to the ring and I'll, I'll give you all a match. And, of course, he gives them the whites. Uh, not Bray, but the other two. I can't remember Luke Harper and I forgot the other guy. Uh, some, I can't remember the other guy's name. Um, Eric Rowan, I think. And they... You know, they made quick work of them. It was, they won by like a clothesline from hell, kind of like a JBL clothesline. Next up, you see RVD in the trainer's room getting worked on. Triple H comes in and apologizes to him and says, you know, just want to let you know I'm giving you a rematch for the World Heavyweight title against a, uh, Del Rio at Battleground. As soon as Triple H walks out, Del Rio comes from the other side and like beats the crap out of RVD, kicked him in the face, all this. Um, so that's just setting up their, their rematch. Then you had R-Truth, who was the last of the, uh, was the last of the guys that ran in on Monday night, and he had a match with eight, with Alberto Del Rio, and, um, it was a cool little back and forth, I guess. Nothing really major. AD, uh, Del Rio wins from the arm bar. There was a couple of spots where you thought Truth was going to win it, but, I mean, you knew he wouldn't have won. Um... And that was pretty much the, the, the show. And then it gets, it gets to the main event. The main event was about a 15-minute match. A really good match. Um, I'm, I'm becoming a big fan of the Usos. I, I always liked them. Um, but becoming, big, becoming a big fan of those guys. They had a great back and forth. You know, um, great, a lot of, towards the end of the match, a lot of great high spots with the, with the Usos and, and Seth Rollins and Ambrose and all that. And basically it ends with Brian was going bananas this match. Got the 10-minute mark coming up, too.
Sorry, guys. It was Fandango in there. But, yeah, d Bry went nuts. And it was just him and Ambrose left in the ring. Well, the Usos both kicked Ambrose in the face. And, um, you know, he finally gets up. And, and, and Brian hits him with that awesome running knee. I can't remember the name of it. I think Blackford calls it the Shining Wizard. Or, I, I, something. I can't remember. But that is that awesome running knee. And, he, and, they, and they get the win. Really, really cool SmackDown. Like you said, with SmackDown only being two hours, it's only about an hour and a half worth of stuff, you know, with commercials. But I'm really enjoying SmackDown. I think that they're trying to put you know, work back into it. Um, and I thought it was really good tonight. So I was glad. I wanted to go ahead and start my SmackDown recaps since the Raw recaps people are really enjoying. Um, so that was pretty much it, guys. Looking forward to Monday Night Raw. Um, also, be on the lookout for the next YWC Mania episode. Um, sometime next week, probably Tuesday. Um, and also got a WWE Mania episode coming soon next week. So be on the lookout for that. Got another epic haul. And that's pretty much it, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what y'all think of the SmackDown recaps, if I should keep doing them. Also, be sure to check my Review Mania episode. I reviewed WrestleMania 17. So be sure to check that out. And follow me on Twitter, TSKDubba. Whoop.